Kayla here with my layout for this month's theme on UK Scrap Addicts. Our theme this month is stitching and this can be done by hand or by machine. I've decided to do mine by hand. Um, what I did to start with was I printed off um, a Paige Evans cut file. I've bought this one from the Silhouette store but you can get lots for free on Paige's Facebook group. Um, this is a great way of using cut files if you don't have um, a Silhouette or you know any cutting machine along those lines. Um, what I'm using the, the printout for is as a template for, my, for poking my holes for my stitching. I didn't make you watch me poke all the holes. Um, I have cut quite a lot out of this this video and just left in little glimpses of the process. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a simple back stitch. There's quite a lot of lines and detail in this cut file, so I thought that the back stitch was the easiest um, stitch to use for this one. And I'm using a hot pink embroidery thread. I broke it down to two strands. Um, just because I find using any more strands um, is quite thick and bulky and two works perfectly for me. That's just um, where I'm at halfway through and now this is um, all my stitching finished. The stitching actually took me about a day, just over a day, on and off. Um, so it did take a, you know, quite a while. Um, but I think whenever you're doing a big, you know, stitching project like this, it is a real labour of love. Um, but it always, you know, by the end of it, it's always been worth, you know, the time that it took to make. And I'm very pleased with how this one turned out. It's not my stitching isn't perfect. Um, you know there's a few wonky bits and things but I'm okay with that Um, I think if I took a little bit more time when I came to poking my holes um, then I could have got it um, you know a bit more perfect but I quite like the fact that <clears throat> it isn't perfect because you know these projects are handmade and I, th I like that it looks handmade um, I'm now going through the stickers and the die cuts that we got in um, our Man the Scrap kit this month. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned at the beginning but that's the kit that I'm using. I'm using the July Man the Scrap kit and we got quite a bit of the the Teen Spirit collection by Echo Park and um, we got some of the girly bits and some of the boy bits and for this layout I'm mainly using in fact, I'm only using the the girly bits. Um, and I do play around with this rainbow for quite some time. <laughs> um, but it doesn't actually make it on the page. Um, but what I am doing, which I don't do often, is I am doing the three cl clusters to create the three points of the triangle. Um, just because my photo is quite small and I... Um, I kind of wanted it to stand out a little bit more um, and not get too lost um, you know in you know with the stitching going on Um, again I'm playing with the the rainbow <laughs> I think I give up with the rainbow now Um, I'm adding the the sunglasses and the word sticker at the top I'm using the tags to back my photo and the little um, emoji smiley face which I think is adorable and at the bottom I'm adding another cluster including an ice cream and um, a little diamond sticker. I really love this teen spirit collection even though my children aren't teenagers yet um, I think it you know it does suit a lot of other ages as well like Dice is only four and I think a lot of the the stickers and die cuts and things work well with her as well because a lot of the you know the girls and things are into you know the rainbows and technology and um unicorns and all things like that 
and the buy one uh, the bike version of this collection is just perfect for my little boy. He's now eight. He recently had a birthday, but it's all about like gaming and quite retro gaming things. And he's he's you know gaming is life to him, <laughs> so it's it is perfect. And as well, they've got a boy bike sticker, so I'm really pleased about that. Um, because a lot of the bikes in most collections are quite girly, you know, with the basket of flowers on the front and. So they don't work so well with, you know, photos of boys. You could use them with boy photos as well, but it just seems to niggle at me and I can't, I can't do it. So I tend to, you know, use the girlier bikes just for Darcy pages. But um, I love that there's um, a boy one in, in the Teen Spirit collection. So now I'm starting to commit to my embellishments. I think I was talking through it, but I did back my layout with some pattern paper i really felt that it needed um something else um you know the it was so white because the, um obviously there's the stitching but there wasn't really much else in the background so i just felt like it really needed some pattern paper um some of my embellishments i'm sticking up on foam and some i'm t sticking down flat with stitching on the background i think it's it is a good idea to pop a few things up on, on foam because when when stitching is on the background it's very flat um, so I like to create different levels of embellishments and things on top of that um, but there's not really there's not really much else to to talk about for this layer I'm now basically just sticking everything down um, I hope that you can join us on the UK Scrap Addicts Facebook group and join in with some stitching on your layouts this month whether it's by hand or machine um thank you everyone for watching and there's some close-ups coming up for you now bye